Okay, you need uh, the microphone. Where's the microphone? على على الشارع ولا لا؟ غسل غسل دي. الخارج على الورقة. Testing, testing. Let me turn it up just a little bit. No, you need that microphone. آه با آه با إبراهيم. فرانش مكوال ذكرتا. It really helps the camera a lot. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 I think it's not on yet. I'm pushing. No, you gotta turn it on. On the side. There's a button on the side. Oh, you see. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't know. So she does that for you. Okay, let's go. Okay. The poem that I, I prepared is the French poet and no, what is it then? this is the poet of the poem. His name is Golan Apollinaire. He's a French poet. He was born in Italy. But he's a French poet. <laughs> Yes, I will do. Here, Sasha. Come here, get This is uh, a little background of the poet. He was not only a poet, but he was also a writer and art, and he was working with art critics. He was born August 26, 1980. He was born in Italy, the city of Italy, Rome, and that's when he died, November 9, 1918, at the age of 36, 30, 38. Is he a French or he's Italian? He's a French boy. Is it the same as that we said before? Well, I'm I that I prepared and the poem's name is called Mary Seville. Why is it called Mary Seville? I don't know what that stands for, but it's the name of the poem. And the poem is French, as I already told you. And it goes like this. Dans la outrie. Et venez la soir au et tous en tout. Millionnaire, vous pouvez l'interdire. La cédé. Trois fois très tard dans la presse et bon. So the first stanza is A, B, B, B. Elle se mettant sur la paix pour un. Malgré roux et rossé, c'est à une gif. Il s'étend et l'allait et la bombe venant de Formose tirée de une bordel jungle. Et j'ai fait ça. C'est un ça. Mr. Jim, je ne peux pas dire le nom de la bombe dans la première traduction. Je connais des gens de toutes sortes, ils n'égalent pas leur destin indécis. Comme veille mortelle, leur lieu sont des veilles morts étant leur cœur, où je prends leur porte et seule. Et c'est la première traduction que j'ai trouvée. 
post by a guy called Roha Lahore. And this is a translation of the first part, and it is it is really the same as um, the response to this call. This is the another translation that I found from Google Translation Translator. Well, wait. Uh, I don't get what the prep poem is about. Well, I will talk about that later. Uh, I really? Yeah. Okay. This is the meter of the poem, and it is, it is in Upper Street in Cologne. She came and went at night. Available to all of all acute, then drained, tired of sidewalks. This is the meter in English. Yeah. But the poem was written in French. Well, I didn't prepare for a meter for French because I couldn't find that. Oh. So I decided to make even the rhyme is, uh, I made the rhyme into the English translation. Oh. She put on a straw for a pin, red and pin. He was a Jew, he felt a girl and had more for Moza, taken from a path of Uchenda. I know people of all kinds, they do not equal their face, undecided as their lip, as their eyes, undecided as leaves their eyes, are smoldering fires their hearts, move like their folks. So this last stanza mostly continues uh, smell, metaphor and symbol. Well, the, the, the rhyme that I found is this, uh, the first stanza is continues A, B, A, B, A, and the second one is A, A, C, A, C, and the last one is A, D, A, B, e, A. Similes of the poem mm -hmm. and also the image of the poem. Mm -hmm. Well, the simile of the poem is this part and the side of the leaves. Smothering fire here. Heart just move like their doors. Well, I can, I don't know what that means, but I think in the poets it is explaining this part. He's saying this part is saying that. What, what does it say in French there? Yeah. Um, is that very well translated? Yeah, because they're mostly alike. The second translation and the first translation are almost the same. Fates have decided as leaves. But the second translation has uh, a word called death. Death. And this part doesn't have that word. Anyway, I don't know that. Click next. So. Um, oh, can you go back to the second translation? Because it's also showing you the part. Yeah. No. Oh. This is the second translation, and it has the word dead. Besides, this dead. Leaves dead leaves. Eyes. have five syllables in a line? No, it doesn't have to be. Oh, so there is no pattern there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, uh, go back to that. So far, if there are any questions, then you guys have to. 
Well, I'm, 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 maybe you have to go pray, but I'm really curious. I'm not sure I understand at all. What What is it that you think it might mean? Well, it's just someone who drank and then imagines something and try to express his feelings. That's what it means. He's, he's drinking. It's a man then. Yeah, and but it says she put a straw for a pimp. Well, he's talking about a girl. Okay. That lives in a bed more like she's she lives in a brothel. She place. lives in a brothel. Yeah. And then she fascinates the guys, and then when they drink too much uh, liquors. She tries to take away the money that they have. Oh. And sometimes they they share the money that they, that they get. And in reward, she, she do something for them. I don't know. She don't know what. <laughs> See, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, could it go back to that third stanza then, the second line? They do not equal their fate, fates. Undecided as leaves, their eyes are smoldering fires. Their hearts move like like their doors. I just can't even imagine what what the poet means by undecided as leaves. How does it read in French? Um, this stanza. Yeah. Oh, uh, it is. Je connais des gens de toutes sortes. Ils ne gèrent pas leur destin indécis. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll finish maybe tomorrow. Yeah. If you can, if you can start tomorrow, that'd be great. I'll try. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ibrahim, we're ready. Oops, wrong way, side over here, sorry. And I get this one here. You get that one. So you want me to repeat all? No, 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 we don't have time for that. Okay, just start. But, but, uh, uh, I want you to finish presenting everything that you're going to finish. I don't think you did a poem yet, did you? Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Well, this is a start presentation, so I go like this. Yeah. So, when I tried to explain the poem, to me it was like a person who was explaining his feelings. Sorry. And feelings was about... Uh, a liquor <laughs> is good. No, it's okay. I'll make sure it's turned on. You're going to have to start over again.
people praise a lot and and also have a relationship with uh, the girl is who live in prophets and a prophet is like uh, a place that prostitutes that's like a prostitute for a new prostitution so um, the poet is explaining their feelings and he's just saying that these are you are generous and you can give away all your money or whatever you have to that to these girls because they make you they make you feel happy and relaxed and that's all about them especially when you are doing it so that's why I thought that it was the main point of the poem and also this reminds me of uh, people who drink because I, I always heard that when, when you drink you might feel it takes it takes away from you uh, all the burdens you have the sorrow things you are thinking about something that makes you stress it takes away from you and it makes you feel relaxed and uh, you're going to be happy so it reminds me of that can you hang on for a second? I think we're missing something. Hey, hey, eye contact, man. And that is these sheets right here. Uh, students need to evaluate your presentation. Well, then I have to restart it. Well, yesterday. Well, yesterday, uh, I got a bunch of evaluations that look like this. Now, this is this is somebody's grade right here. somebody's grade. Now my first question is, whose grade is this? I think it's mine, maybe, or Tashi. Could be Tashi's, could be Ibrahim's, yeah. could be, could be many different people's. Okay? So the first thing you need to do is put the presenter's name at the top. <coughs> And then the second thing you need to remember is these numbers actually mean something. Here's another evaluation. That's me. What does that mean? I <laughs> didn't mark it like. I like him. I don't know. I, I know it came from Maybe this class. Maybe it's in different I language. I Mr. Terry. That's me. Okay. Well, now be careful about these evaluations because these are people's grades. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so you're saying that you think, first of all, it's about a prostitute. And secondly, it's about about liquor and alcohol and how it makes people uh, not drunk. He said it makes people happy even though they are, even though they have problems, even though they have great sadnesses. It makes them feel like like free, no sorrow, relaxing. There's no thing that you have to worry about. It, and it makes you feel. Okay. Well, it sounds like a, a poem then would would encourage us to drink more. Well, yeah, it sounds like that. But you don't have to do all of that. Well, okay, but do you think that the? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah please. Can I cut to the bamboo? You said that the sure, one day, one. if okay. you, you do what you want, you run the camera. Go to that place where is the walls, they make you happy. Mm. But that is, I think, it's a temporary. When you go there, when you leave that place mm. and stop drinking and you go and you go to your daily life, all the, everything is gonna change. Well, of course, that's right, but so, you don't have to think about what's beyond that at that time. Now, do you have evidence from the poem of that? That's what I'm saying now. No, I didn't say that. You're giving your own opinion. Yeah, she's no, just saying that. No, I'm, 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 I'm asking him what, if he's making happy. Yeah, I got it. She's saying, like, if, 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 if that is a temporary condition, why would the poet say that it is good? It right? is good for moving, yeah. Well, everybody knows that it is temporary and it's just that it is um, somebody's feelings and some people might think that it's good to, to do that. So it's not just uh, an idea that comes to one person that is in general and anybody can, can do that and can stop it. Is this poem lyrical or is it is it narrative? Is it telling a story no, or is it ex expressing a yeah, feeling? Yeah, it's just expressing an image. Yeah, because I think um, the poet saw a person who was drunk and just guessing, and then he tried to explain the situation of that person. Say hi, Terry. Okay, Samir is bored, so we have to move on. Uh, I, I do not, you know, I, the thing that we left off yesterday, that I don't understand stanza number three. I know people of all kinds, they do not equal their fates. They do not equal their fates. It means they do not get what they deserve. Yeah, like, you know, people, are, some people get, uh, some people are under this place and they do not get what other people get. Okay, I understand that part, but undecided as leaves, their eyes are smoldering fires, their hearts move like their doors. Uh, those, those last, those undecided as leaves, eyes smoldering fires, that image I don't understand, and their hearts move like doors. Well, I think when I try to explain that, I think the poet is just explaining how the people, those are underprivileged, how they feel, how their hearts are. How they feel? Yes. What were you saying? Oh, yeah, you were. You, were, you guys were... Did you do you agree or do you disagree? Yeah, you're we didn't hear what? I am not understanding. I'm bothered by the last stanza on this on this. Yeah, screen. me too. I didn't understand. What is the heart moving like a door? Okay, there's no exact answer of your question, but if I try to guess it, and which is which I think is the closest one that I have. Is that the poet is explaining those who are underprivileged who can't get the opportunity to uh, all this, I mean, the things that the other people can get, like people are not the same. Somebody can be rich, some others can be poor. So he's just explaining those are underprivileged or those who don't have the opportunity to meet the others, how they feel, how their hearts are. And it's just, I think, when um, the poet is saying, their hearts move like their, their doors, it's just um, making the poem literature. Because it, it's just, it added a um, single So it, um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to have a meaning, but it's just, Explaining that this is part of both, a part of literature. Oh, okay. How about the 
faith and the sun as living. Also, that part is a kind of circuit. But that is what I just explained you. Smoldering means that it's a fire that you don't see the flames. So it's like you see smoke, you see heat, you see it's kind of red, but you don't see the flames. I think you have eyes that smolder, Samir. What is that? Uh, that's what I was going to ask you, really. What would that mean if somebody says that to you? You have eyes like a smoke? Maybe it's like... You have fire in your eyes, but I can't see the flames. It's I can see the smoke. I can see the redness. I can see the heat. Well, it could be something that you Maybe worry about. Maybe you are you angry or you are sad inside, but you are not telling us it. Yeah. And in my case, angry, sad, sad, strong feelings. But you're not expressing them. Yeah. Maybe it's something special. Just you don't see, but it it seems to be special for you. People can feel it, but you are not trying to explain it. People can realize your unique story. I, I can kind of relate to that. Uh, uh, their hearts move like doors. Doors go in and out. The hearts too when it's beating that way. Okay, so their hearts are beating. Their hearts are, but why? Why did he use like doors? Doors. This is a simile. A heart is like a door. It means it's open and shut. It's open and shut. Yeah, because when our heart is beating, it's doing that way, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't. Well, it could be. Get it. Uh, that your heart is like a door and good things can in and out, bad things yeah, can yeah. in and out too. Okay. Uh, but the one that kills me is undecided as leaves. Well, I, I try to imagine that. explain that by finding that out. When I wrote the second translation, I, I didn't even find it. They added a word that makes me so confused. Yeah, they really. They said undecided as dead leaves. Dead leaves, yes. Which you don't, I take it you don't see in the, yeah. in the French? In the I French. see the word mortes. No, it doesn't have it. Like, dead, when the second translation... It doesn't have a death. It doesn't have death. It just says... So, this word right here, this, does this have anything to do with death? Well, this is death in French. Is that the same Mom. thing then? Well, no. This is the first translation, the translation that I found. And it doesn't have that word. What is fit, Mr. Terry? What? The second fit? translation had that word. Fate. Fate. Fate is what will happen to you, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. It was written on day one. Yeah. Okay. Click next slide. Oh, sorry. This is the second, trans second translation. But uh, I think this is the. Uh, this should be the first translation because this has the same word as the French poem. Yeah. So it's better because it's like word for word almost. Yeah. But the first translation didn't have that word, so I decided to make it the second translation. She put a straw yeah. for she, a pimp. A pimp is a man who who sells women. Yeah. He he has prostitutes well, and he makes money yeah. from prostitutes. Well, it's still I this reminds me of you know. Uh, the songs that robbers make, like Snoop Dogg, he just acts like he, he has a whole bunch of girls, and then he tries to exchange these girls to another man by taking them in money. So that could be the same situation. And Formosa is uh, a uh, the old name for uh, Japan. For China, China, the Chinese island, it's now called Taiwan. Uh, the women from Formosa were often used in sex slavery, uh, where they were forced into prostitution. They were taken from the island, and this happens still. Yeah, my doctor, my doctor went to 
China on March 24th to, to help them, the young girl who is getting a sex abuse there. She told me they are 15, 13. So why do they have to be? Are they supposed to be not a well, it depends on the time and the culture and the, and the business, but generally speaking, it's organized crime. They move women across borders, so you have no family, you have no, you don't even understand the language outside the house. Uh, and you're forced to, end up, and you're promised that someday you will work yourself free. If you make enough money, you will be free someday. But they, ch they, of course, they charge them for room and board. They never see the actual money, but they have to sell their bodies, and they live in that house, and it's slavery. Yeah, they help them. They were a bunch of doctors. They they go there to make them small business in order to stop that kind of. Yeah, but I don't know whether that's what's happening in the poem or not. Yeah, it says a happen. Jew, he felt garlic. What does that mean, he felt garlic? <laughs> I don't even know if he felt He was garlic. a Jew, garlic? he felt garlic. Well, how I don't know. I know, but it doesn't make sense. He felt garlic. Maybe garlic it's a strange fun. image. Yeah. Maybe he felt... Uh, no. It's like maybe when you woke, woke up every day, you feel you feel some kind of yeah, strange you like feeling in your mouth. Yeah, felt like a bad taste in your mouth. You, yeah. you're 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 having a bad life. This could be the part, the ambiguous part of the poem, ambiguous part. Uh, can you look little go on on his biography for yeah. me? I I was not here yesterday. Go back to the first line. Um, the poem. The poet is a French poet, okay. and he was a poet during the 18th century. And also, he was born in Italy, but he, his parents were French, so he was French also. And he grew up in France, in France. And he was he was not he was not only a poet, but he was also a writer. He was working with art critics, with other poets during mm -hmm. that time. If he was a pimp? No, he wasn't. No. One thing that was interesting about it, if he is 18th century, it looks the picture looks 19th century to me. It looks like 1800. But in any case, if he is 18th century or 19th century, his poem is very, very different than most poetry at the time. Most poetry at the time rhymed very tightly, had very tight meter. This is very different. 18th century? I, I have his biography. You can just look at it, his biography or what he got, what he did, and how his life was, and his poems. You can also find the dates that he was a boy, and the dates that he was a boy, and he was a boy. So this is the time that he Yeah, that, that's 19th century. He lived in the 1800s. Now remember how that works? If you live in the 1800s, what century is that? 19th. 19th century. And, and if you live in the 1900s, he died in the 20th century. 20th century. Right. Why, uh, why does he have two different pictures? Yeah. The pictures were different times. So I the work works, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you are right. So it looks like that is not. It is a poem. Charlie. And we talked about the meter of the poem yesterday. So he used the word meter. So you should circle the word meter. Uh, did he use the word simile when he was talking about uh, like doors? Like, like yeah. So circle that, but he didn't explain anything about the metaphors of the poem. I have a slide for that. Oh, okay. This is the rhyme of the poem. Oh, it does rhyme. It is more, more like uh, 19th century than what I thought. What is the difference? Let's 
See, I couldn't Can I hear that. Well, it's. It, as poetry changed, the people stopped rhyming. People started being more free and calling different things poetry. Okay. Yeah, like the second, uh, last extension, it doesn't rhyme that much because it has five different sounds. Except this and this. And in the 19th century, writing had, poetry writing had many rules. Now, one of the definitions of poetry is writing with no rules at all. You don't have any rules when you write poetry now. You, you do whatever you want. You call it a poem. It's a poem. You just cool. Like it. It's cool. That last line there, though, that, that last stanza, the rhyme breaks down. Yeah. And that's not a really strong pattern to begin with. Okay, Ibrahim. What do you think he was trying to say in, this, in his life, in this poem? And what was his like emotions, all that stuff? Do you mean the poet's life or the explanation of the poem? Maybe both, a little, little. Yeah. The poet, he didn't uh, explain his, his life, what he used to do, that you can look at it. Okay, okay, he was like against it or he was like, it's okay? Uh, I think he's not against with that, he's just explaining how they feel. But no, 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 you pursue it. Don't let him. Well, you quit. see, your students give you a chocolate. <laughs> get, get him to you answer your here? question. I said, what is the simile of the poem and image of the poem? Well, I'm about to explain it. Um, well, this part is, a, I think, the part that is extremely undecided as leaves. How you can how you can think about something if you don't have your own opinion? You can't think if you have your if you can't have your own opinion. That's that's wrong to have an opinion first. <coughs> okay, okay. You're answering like a president of Russia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's it's like it's like perfect but it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> A politician. A politician's yeah, it, answer. It's, it's great. <laughs> it gets extra points for that in academic language. Yeah, but I really like, you did a great job of finding the images in the similes. Well, and this could be the image with eyes and small fires. So you could explain your own experience how Okay. What do you think he was against the slavery or he was like he supported? If I think in your opinion he's, he's against because he's expressing and the situations and so I think he's against. He was rich or poor? The poet? Yeah. Okay. Hey, do you have any 
evidence for that? No. I don't have to. He is uh, why, supposed why? to be rich because if you are not rich, you cannot talk about the oh. prostitutes or something like so, that. So you think, so you're saying, <laughs> I think he was rich yeah. because, because of the subject matter. Well, if you are angry, you do not pay attention to what is going on. Well, if I'm not, I'm not rich and I can talk about how you feel, I can, I can just image, imagine how you how you feel, and then write a poem about it. That doesn't have to be other much. How do you know you to get to the middle of it? Well, I think because when I read his, when I visited his website, it's, it's I saw uh, what? that he was, he was not a witch, because they, sure? they don't tell that. Yeah, I think it's blurry. It's automatic focus, is on. It's it's blurry. And we have one minute. I know. We have one minute up here on the clock. Isn't isn't the class over with? Come on, man, finish. We don't have more time. Next, next, next. And this is what the. What I think it is describing Bob. So it's very lyrical. It's more of a description than it is saying something is good or bad. It's a Mr. feeling Jerry, of special life. Can I ask you a question? He wrote the description, described of the poem, right? So the theme, he said, theme it is a literature. So how about the valuable of the, of the poem? But this is just the valuable. Is it a valuable? Yeah, it is. That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's the value mm -hmm. of the poem. What would that mean? Like how the poem is important in the community. Oh, okay. Why? Whether? How is it literature? Why is it a, a famous poem? I don't read it. What? Why is it a famous poem? Because the poet who wrote the poem was famous. <laughs>